Hi, Brick Maniacs. We're here to t with Lando and, of course, Dan. Yes. We're here to talk about the minifig of the month for Desert Storm Month. So, what yeah. do we got? <laughs> so, this is the, uh, yeah, this is Desert Storm Month, obviously, and uh, we have the U.S. Army Rifleman. Uh, and this is, this is kind of what I felt was, was a sort of a snapshot of the quintessential soldier um, that, like the really iconic soldier in the field. Um, in real life, maybe you wouldn't be seeing them wear uh, the gas mask, this M17 gas mask, all the time. But there's just going through pictures of Desert Storm, you see so many uh, images with uh, with guys uh, wearing the mask, and there there was some reason for that. Right. Well, the the during the build up to Operation Desert Storm, the Iraqis were lobbing Scud missiles into Saudi Arabia, into even Israel, uh, trying to provoke a wider war, um, and they were shooting at the, the the bases where the U.S. military was building up. So every time the air raid warning sign would go off, you, you know they were so afraid that Saddam would use some of his like chemical weapons. Right. That, everybody had to don their, their gas mask. And I think it was a, a reoccurring theme that gas mask drill, and not even just a drill, I mean, in real life, these missiles were falling in, you know, from <laughs> basically right. outer space, and, and uh, nobody knew what was in them. Right. So, so that, I think that was sort of a notable, um, uh, a notable occurrence. You'd that, see pictures in the newspaper. Yeah. Back in 1991, it was like every day you'd see pictures of these guys with their gas masks on. It was, yeah, it so was we, cool. we've had this uh, gas mask in the past, um, so it's part of the MOP system. Um, we've never done this. We've, we've had, yeah, we have had the M117 gas mask before. We have never done it 3D printed. Right, right. right. Like, this is completely Yeah, like so a new this level. is completely <laughs> unprecedented. Um, this is a brand new 3D printed uh, model here, designed in house, printed in house, and then we did a little extra UV printing on kind of that muzzled snout thing on the front. It's, yeah, the filter. filter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so I guess it's got that really nice kind of, there's a, a a bag kind of that goes over top of it that's um, um, gas resistant and, and it's got to uh, be chemical and yeah, biological everything. resistant um, so I just I just I'm, I'm really liking how that mask turned out uh, helmet um, it, it, it integrates really nicely with the brick arms uh, modern combat helmet uh, we have some chocolate chip desert six color chocolate chip camo is what they refer to it as um, throughout this entire figure and Again, it's another one of those interesting transition um, periods uh, where you see desert camouflage mixed with sort of Vietnam, woodland era. Um, so European, NATO. Or European, yeah, NATO kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, you're using, there's gear uh, featured on this guy that, um, you know, was originally de deployed in Vietnam. So you got those jungle boots, which were just terrible in the desert. They would just let sand in. Uh, and then the other alternative would have been the leather boots, were, which were bad because they were just like incredibly hot in the desert. So, so um, this is before a good desert boot option was really uh, widely deployed. Um, so yeah, it's just a mix of gear here. We have the Alice uh, ammo pouches and uh, that butt pack and two canteens. They really commonly would carry two canteens. Yeah, you're in the desert. Yes. <laughs> the um, water is a commodity. <laughs> so underneath that is that woodland camo uh, Pazget. Um, armor uh, armor vest uh, personal arm body armor and um, so this is the uh, incredibly common uh, loadout for the army um, and even very similar the Marines would be wearing some a very similar if not identical loadout um, so so what if somebody wants to display this figure without the gas mask without the gas mask okay so this is just the gas mask uh, I can take that off actually for right, you so the gas mask does have hollow it is hollow you can it, it is it is not like a custom molded head right it just fits over a normal lego head let's see if we can pop that head off yeah it comes right off so th i just opted for a blank head um the black would be simulating uh maybe like a lenses um yeah. the real life the lenses were clear there might have been some tinted inserts or replacement lenses that you could have gotten for this mask in a higher light condition you're probably not seeing into the through the lenses anyways so uh, i opted for that black look um and uh, yeah, it works just fine with a st standard uh, stock Lego head, or you can pick up um, a modern combat uh, chin strap uh, head that we print as well on, on our stores. Right, we do so. have that as, that as an option. We do still have some available that it comes in, what is it, three different colors, and then two different, you have a male and a female? Yeah, one. something like, it, it's a, it's, I think it's the whole range, yeah. Yeah, so you, you'd have six different options if you wanted to buy that, fig you know, display the figure without the gas mask on. Of course, that gas mask is interchangeable with any other figure, but it's only going to work with that um, the MCH. The right, it's, it's designed for the MCH. I haven't tried it out on other helmets. 
we'll see. Uh, but if you if you have some of our modern our, our other uh, modern soldiers with that MCH, it would work just great. Yes. Yeah. Anything with an MCH, it's going to work. Um, I think that kind of covers everything. Um, yeah, really iconic, eye-catching figure. The first batch went so fast. Minutes, 400 um, in minutes. Yes, in minutes. Uh, second batch, I don't know yet. We're still getting the numbers Right, in. and hopefully we'll have a third and fourth. Um, yeah. The question is gonna be, do you sell the, the, the mask separately? So currently all of our 3D printing um, capabilities are being devoted to kits and then something like a minifigure of the month. We, we're working on it as best we can. We've doubled our supply. We've doubled our print capability. And you were saying we've in the last, doubled yeah, it. In the last year, we've, we've doubled, doubled it again. Doubled again. So we just keep bumping into, um, you know, we, there's just such a demand. Um, we're looking into alternative, alternative production methods. So it's sort of just a matter of time. But uh, be patient. Right. right. Yeah. We can't. We can't offer most of our accessories separately. We can pick one or two. Sure. Um, so. Right now, we just can't do this. <laughs> yeah. there, will, there will be in the future, there will be um, options for, for buying stuff individually. We just can't keep up with demand right now. And we keep adding printers. I mean, we just got in more printers. Right. They're online, they're running 24 seven. Um, not much we can do more than right. you know, wait till we can afford to buy more printers. So thank you that you guys <laughs> are all so excited for this release. Um, you know, I, I was hoping you'd be as excited as I was. So it's just good to see that this thing is moving so fast. So. Thank you for your support. Uh, pick up one, one of these guys if you haven't. Um, I think it's going to be a nice little showpiece in your collection. With that. Wonderful. Yeah. Anything else, Dan, I should go over? I think we got it all covered. I think you've more okay. than covered. I think we're good. I think, I, think, I, think, <laughs> I think we've given them an earful. Okay. Right on. <laughs> cool. Thanks for watching.